fair and square. Definition, in an honest way and without any doubt. He won the election for president fair and square. Chandler, what kind of idiot do you take me for? <laughs> it's not a real game. I made it up. I'm sorry you lost your money, but I won it fair and square. At a fake game! Stan, this land was given to me fair and square by our grandfather. You mean my grandfather? You shouldn't even exist! Sorry, Gene. Good effort, though. It was just like a kid going up against an adult. Okay, well, you win, Dino, fair and square. Bye. I wish Dino was our dad. We learned that routine fair and square. We logged the man hours. Don't punish the squad for Big Red's mistake. That's ridiculous. Why would I kill him? Emily, we know about the scholarship. You needed it to stay in school. Yeah, but he won fair and square. We know that's not true. <sighs> I am so proud of you guys. You won fair and square. You always make profits on your uh, stakeouts? I won this money fair and square. I'm back, Manon. Have you been a good girl? Mommy! Marinette didn't let me uh, win! <laughs> she didn't play fair and square! Oh, Manon, you can't always expect to win. Yes, you can! Ladybug and Cat Noir always win! She saved my life fair and square. Mona could have picked any one of them. She's baiting me. And the only way to stop her is to beat her fair and square. Tag! You're it! You're it! Way to go, Eddie! You tag Summer! I did it? I did it! I turtle tag Summer! Woohoo! Nuh uh! No! No way! Doesn't count! Oh, come on, Summer! Eddie tagged you fair and square! No! I, uh. I let him tag me, which means I'm still the winner! I don't need to cheat anymore. I can win this fair and square. No, Tom, you can. I can. Yes, congratulations. You won fair and square. Uh, very impressive, sir. <gasps> Wolf gave away all our loot. We stole it fair and square. Bigger fish to fry. Definition. To have something more important to do. I can't deal with this problem right now. I have bigger fish to fry. Finn, don't worry about it. We've got bigger fish to fry right now. I don't need you guys anyway. I don't need this place. I've got bigger fish to fry. We're watching anyone in my contact. That includes you and your husband. Most likely you'll never reach out. He's got bigger fish to fry. Look, whatever differences you and I have, they'll keep. Right now, we've got bigger fish to fry. Edith, what are you thinking? You know, I don't dislike him as much as you do. Perhaps you don't dislike him at all. Perhaps I don't. Well, it's nothing to me. I have bigger fish to fry. Starting today, I will no longer be going after the Glee Club. Frankly, I have bigger fish to fry. So she bought a little time for her dad to come to his senses. But now Matilda had bigger fish to fry. Uncle Davy! Don't worry about Davy. We got bigger fish to fry. And heaven everlasting's my reward. Delbert, what are you talking about? We got bigger fish to fry. Where's my son? Oh, now you want to be daddy of the year? Just calm down, LeBron. He'll be here, OK? We got bigger fish to fry. You want to help that cop's family, Spencer? Walk away. We've got bigger fish to fry. Honestly, don't know, but I have bigger fish to fry, so, you know, just, just walk it off. Good morning. Did you buy this? No, I did not. Are you curious how it got here? Not particularly. I have some bigger fish to fry. Draw the line. Definition, to never do something because you think it is wrong. We need to draw the line on spending. We can't go over budget. Oh my God. So as far as Peter knows, he's about to cheat on you? Lois, you've got to draw the line here. That paper 
Bob, I, it's a travesty. Arguing for Hitler as a civil rights hero, you've got to draw the line. You just said yourself it's sad. Yeah, but it's not pathetic. That's where I draw the line. <laughs> That's where I draw the line. I handled Armand like you asked. My fiance is taking the fall for Sloan. But my daughter, my daughter is home now. And she's getting too close. And that's where I draw the line. Time to draw the line. Yes. I've already reached my lowest today. This is where I draw the line. Listen carefully. Kelso lies selfishly and indiscriminately. You, you gotta draw your own line. A gift for our new cutest demon. Okay, I'm out. Novelty costumes are where I draw the line. Penny, rub Vicks on my chest. Sheldon, I cooked you breakfast. I made your bed. I checked your mouth for thrush. You can rub your own chest. Sure, grope every other man on the planet, but draw the line with me. I need you to watch Tades. He's in the other room. Babysitting is where I draw the line. God damn it, Beth. I'm not. I'm not asking. Bite the bullet. Definition, to force yourself to do something unpleasant or difficult. I hate going to the dentist, but I will have to bite the bullet. I don't want to give up my one last thing. Well, I don't want to give up mine either. Well, look, one of us is going to have to bite the bullet. We need more formal organization. We should bite the bullet. Hire a campaign manager. That's just not workable. I'm afraid we'll just have to bite the bullet on this thing, Clive. And Very troubling. Very troubling. So, Mr. I'm almost 16, so leave me alone. Doesn't want a big thing for his birthday. He just wants to hang out with his friends, which is fine by me. You? Fine by me. Okay. So, I figured a low-key family dinner, no official party, and we bite the bullet and buy him a car. I should just bite the bullet, be honest with her. I mean, I really want this. You know, McPhee, we really should just bite the bullet. Meaning? All this verbal sparring we're doing is getting a little dangerous, so we should just go out on a date before somebody gets hurt. Forget it. Okay. Now, come on here. No way, Wade. No way. We're not horse trading here, Wade. Yeah. We gotta just bite the bullet on this thing. Yeah. No, you may be right, Ross. I have to bite the bullet, take on the part myself. I mean, I'm sorry I can't be of more help, but if he comes back and you're on the phone, it might make things more awkward. Bite the bullet, huh? Yeah, sorry, but yeah. You're done here. Pardon me? Edwards, go. Bite the bullet. Go on the date. It's better than being lonely and crazy like me. Guess it's time to bite the bullet. Yep. Can't keep the quarantine a secret, so good luck. I guess I'll have to bite the bullet. To be right as rain. Definition, to feel healthy or well again. A few days in bed, and you'll be as right as rain. You okay? Yeah. Right as rain. How are you? Right as rain. Whatever that means. Does she look well? Yes. Appetite's good? Mm-hmm. Does she sleep well at night? Yes. I mean, she's right as rain in that way. Fix us, we are right as rain! What? I thought you hated young people. Besides, nobody stays young forever. Amateur hour, am I right? Right as rain. Rain don't lie. What's the matter? Carla. What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Everything's right as rain. I, I can't accept this. Little guy doing okay. Yeah. Gotta beef him up a little. <laughs> How about you? Right as rain. He's gonna give us the stuff. We are right as rain. Are you okay? Yeah. Right as rain. Are you okay? 
Right as rain. Oh, I have the perfect thing to go with this. Good thing Dr. Fist says tomorrow you'll be right as rain. No, fat face. He said six to eight weeks if she's lucky. But you're still going to be able to keep up your housework, right? I mean, you don't cook with your legs. Cheaty! You didn't have to stay here all night. So, surgery went well? All clear? Right as rain, buddy. It is so, so, so great. Is everything okay? Right as rain, Mikey, my boy. So, uh, Chidi and I are gonna go to the bad place. What? Trust me, I've got this. Take a cookie. I promise by the time you're done eating it, you'll feel right as rain. Rain or shine. Definition, whatever happens or whatever the weather is like. She runs six miles every morning, rain or shine. <laughs> so sad. So rain or shine, we will all have smiles on our faces. Okay, children, come back first thing in the morning. Okay, rain or shine, we're gonna have school. Put your cap on. Okay, I'm sure that he will prove a great help to us eventually. Right. Welcome aboard. Wherever I can help. Rain or shine, sleet or snow. Yeah, I got you. Thanks very much, Elliot. And thank you for seeking my assistance on this case. I just want you to know that day or night, rain or shine, come hell or high water, I will always be Bert. there. Bert. Look, Nick, my dad left when I was three. Every single day, rain or shine, he just never came back. Now. Since you all claim that you have no idea who the cheater is, the re-exam will be tomorrow morning at 4 a.m. Outside. Rain or shine. Although, if I were you, I'd plan for rain, because I'm going to bring a hose. Oh, thank you for lending a wing. Anytime. Rain or shine. I'm picking you up at 5 a.m. tomorrow. Come rain or shine. And Unfortunately, it is supposed to rain. Rumble it is, after school, rain or shine. Anybody want to wait for shine? Yeah, 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 yeah. definitely yeah. shine. So, uh, you deliver the mail no matter what, rain or shine? Yep, I've seen it all. <laughs> Hunter walks his dog through the park behind the library every morning at 8 a.m., rain or shine. Maybe when we get back, you and I could get together. Well, maybe we can. My name's Ned Flanders, and I'm here every week. Rain or shine. Up in the air. Definition. Uncertain and with an unknown result. Our trip to Los Angeles is still up in the air. Well... The truth is, is, um, things between Lucifer and me, they are a little up in the air right now. You're gonna have to hire a whole new staff, or are they gonna close the French office altogether? I don't know. Everything's up in the air right now. I hate that. I mean, Jane, am I imagining this, or is something happening lately with us? You're not imagining it, but... I don't know where it's coming from. And, I mean, there's so much up in the air. Well, I don't think this is a LARP. It's too big for that. But who it is and if he's actually an insider at the White House, that's up in the air. So, assuming that you get into Barnard next year, which you totally will, is Archie moving here with you next year? That's still very much up in the air. There's a lot up in the air right now. Oh, geez, Harold, uh, everything's sort of up in the air right now. You know, why don't we just keep it strictly professional for the moment, okay? I'm totally crispy. Let's go do something. Shopping, get exfoliated, anything. And I'll pay for it how? I mean, my dad's credit cards got shut off yesterday. Well, what about Luke? 
I mean, he can pay for you. He is your boyfriend, right? I don't know. I mean, we left things kind of up in the air. I mean, we just got past all this drama, and this summer was supposed to be all time. Yeah, well, now it's all up in the air. Burn bridges. Definition. To do something that makes it impossible to go back to a previous situation. He refused to apologize, so he burned bridges with his friends. If you walk out that door, you'll burn every bridge she has here. Hey, maybe don't burn the bridge. I could still beg for a second chance. If you go out for that TV show, you're going to have to burn a lot of bridges. Well, we burned that bridge. I can't go back to my old job. I burned a lot of bridges there. To the cafeteria! What am I going to do now? I could try and help you make some calls and see what bridges I haven't burned, but I'm not going to for your own good. Hey, Miss Sorusa, can we talk? What? I don't know where I fit in here. Well, what did you expect? You've burned bridges with pretty much everyone here. Yeah, yeah, you're a beaten dog and you bite people who tried to feed you. I don't give a crap about your sad story. You want to be a surgeon, you need to get the hell over it. You burned a bridge with me. How about you grow up before you burn a bridge with every other attending who tries to teach you something? I make terrible choices. I leave things behind and just let the bridges burn. I did it with Ethan. I did it with Dean. Oh, my God. I did it with my entire life. Do you maybe want to, like, go out with me? <laughs> that sounds great. But I'm sort of seeing this guy. He's got a little Baron convertible and an in at the roller rink, so I'd hate to burn that bridge. And tell him I don't expect him to forgive me. You know what happens when you burn a bridge? You gotta learn to swim. Or fly. <laughs> Now, what are you guys going to do? You're going to have your mom go around and yell at all these people and burn a bunch of bridges? Or are you going to talk to your Rubens, your Karens, your lemon lady? Tell them how you feel. Appeal to their human side. Whatever bridges had been built were burned. The dean said, no way you're getting your TA job back. Apparently, that bridge has been burned. Some townies were trying to get us high, and we didn't want to offend them because they're doing so well in life. Didn't want to burn a bridge. Actually, those boys did burn a bridge last summer. Mm -hmm. Luckily, they don't get as bored as they used to. So when are you going out with this girl again? I'm not. I'm inside the walls. <laughs> so you're going to burn that bridge. Flame on! <laughs> 